lovemybodyrally.com. I, I want to encourage your listeners to go to that website, lovemybodyrally.com. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, I think it started by Kelly Brock, who's a holistic psychologist, and her husband, Sire G. You may have heard of Sire G. He's the promoter, he's the, the originator or developer of greenmed.com. So they're promoting a rally on October 16th. And I think this is the answer to this pandemic we've been going through and all the fear we've been in to promote lovemybodyrally.com to get mm-hmm. back to tapping. And they're on the, in this rally on October 16th, they're encouraging people all over the world to start your own rally or, go, or find one near you to attend. And I'm going to probably attend the one in Miami because that's where Kelly and her husband live. So I just wanted to say thank you. We need some uh, health, uh, holistic answers to this fear that we've all been swimming in. And this is the best one, the, the root chakra. Couldn't find a better place to start than the root chakra. So thank you, <laughs> sisters, for doing this work that you're doing. Thank you, Rihanna. Thank you. And and what has been your experience with with EFT or tapping? Did you share that? Oh my, oh my yeah. goodness! I use I use it all the time, whether I'm driving or uh, any time I sense in my body uh, uh, discomfort, inflammation. Okay, here's one. I had I sprained my ankle um, Saturday, and the pains mm-hmm. kicked in like Saturday evening. So I right away I started tapping. And I just started talking to my ankle. And, and you know what, Mike, because the funny thing, I started thanking my body for the pain. And that's what oh, EFT, that. I, think, I think EFT brings you to that place of gratitude. Eventually, once you tap in all the feelings you have and the fear and the abandonment and all that, and then at the end of the round, I just have to get into gratitude. And so I was like thanking my body for the pain. And the next day I was be able to walk on that foot. I couldn't walk on it at all Saturday evening, but Sunday when I got How about that? Bed, and I was just talking to my foot all night and doing tapping, and boom, the next day my body responded to, okay, you're ready, that your body's healing. So I think EFT brings this energy of healing, number one, and, 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 mm-hmm. um, and then gratitude helps you get, helps you get into gratitude. So it's definitely part of my mm-hmm. life and the tools that I'm using, especially now in this crazy world we're in. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. You're yes, welcome. Have yes, a beautiful yes. day. You too. It's, it's true. EFT really, uh, first of all, it gets you to it allows you to acknowledge what's going on. I'm afraid. I'm fearful, I'm anxious, I'm scared. You know, you acknowledge these things, and that's what emotions require. You know, a lot of people push their emotions to the side or to the back. Uh, You know, I don't want to deal with that now. You know, you got the nine to five, the schoolwork, the housework, the children to deal with, so don't have time to deal with emotions, but if you don't take the time to deal with them, they're going to come out in another form, basically some kind of physical form. You find yourself injured in some way. And it's all because you didn't acknowledge those emotions. And so, yeah, you acknowledge, you know, how you feel. Like uh, we're going to tap on fear right after this this break, this last commercial break, and then we're going to tap on um, what's the other thing? Abandonment. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I'm back. This is Let's Talk About It with Maika. And for the last couple of weeks, I've been dealing with the root chakra, hopefully getting people to establish a great foundation for their lives. And today we're dealing with the greatest fear that's stuck at the root chakra, and that's the fear of abandonment. So we're going to tap on fear, and then we're going to tap on abandonment. And, you know, there's this thing called pay it forward. Somebody gives you something, you give it to somebody else. I'm asking all of you to share these uh, sessions with people who you love, 
And even people you don't love, tell them just listen in. Maybe they can find some relief. And as a result, you two can get together and be friends or lovers or mates or whatever. But you need to, uh, you need to have something that will clear the trash from between your relationship. And that's what EFT does. It just clears all this stuff that's in the past that is no longer important so that you can move forward. And I, I actually deal in a lot of different therapies. However, I found EFT to be the quickest, the easiest, and the most receptive for people. Okay? So that's why I really use it, and it's easy to use. So when we deal with fear, we're dealing with a stuck, a stuck emotion, uh, and we're gonna we're gonna work on that. It could, there's all kind of fears. I don't know what your fear is, but when I when I tap, I'm gonna say like, I choose to release this fear of, and then you can uh, fill in the blank. If it's an abandonment, put an abandonment. If it's uh, fear of not being able to survive. You put that in, fear of being overly angry and frustrated, whatever it is you're furious, put it in, okay? Let's get rid of something today. Let's start this day off refreshed and renewed, okay? All right, so we start at the karate chop point that's right on the side of the hand, either hand, right under the little finger on the side of the hand. We tap there with the other fingers gently. And you just say to yourself, even though I have this fear of fill in the blank, I still love and totally accept myself. This fear has been with me for some time. It's difficult for me to deal with it. I don't want to feel like this, but I do feel like this. I wish it would go away, but it hasn't. But hopefully now it will go away, this fear of fill in the blank. Now, go to the eyebrow point, which is right over the bridge of the nose. If the eyebrows were coming together, and just tap gently there. I choose to release this fear of, to just let it go, to release as much of it as possible right now. I don't want to feel this fear anymore. I want to be free of fear. I want to be able to live my life holistically with joy, with happiness. And feel a sense of peace within. A side of the eye, either side, releasing this fear of just letting it go. I don't need it. It does nothing beneficial to me. I mean, it has been. I'm grateful that it existed because now I can let it go. It's obviously taught me something under the eye. I don't know what it's taught me. Maybe that'll come out when I get rid of it. Why this fear has been a benefit to me but I'm letting it go right now as much as possible. And then under the nose, releasing all fear associated with blah, blah, blah. I'm just letting it go. My fears are my fears. As a matter of fact, I have a number of fears that I can let go of right now. I just want to be free of it. Under the lip, I'm free of this fear right now. If it was a 10 on the scale of 0 to 10, it's now going to be a zero. I choose for it to release and let go. And now the collarbone, tap gently on the collarbone. Letting go of this fear of freeing myself to be myself, void of this fear. And then under the arms, you rub gently where the bra strap would cross on a woman. Just rub it or tap it. I'm letting go of this fear totally and completely. I don't have to be afraid. I don't have to live in fear. I don't have to do this. I can be free of it today. And then let's do another round at the at the eyebrow point to say releasing this fear totally and completely to the best of my ability. I'm letting it go. Ooh, okay, somebody's releasing. <laughs> On the side of the eye, releasing and letting go. I don't need to have anything more to do with this fear, and it doesn't need to ever come back again. I have did that, done that. And then under the eye, this fear of can go into the ethers, never to return to me again. And then under the nose, it's no longer difficult for me. 
I'm free of this fear. I'm glad to be free of this fear. I'm grateful for this opportunity to be feared, free of this fear. Hallelujah. And then under the lip, fear be gone. All fear be gone. I don't have to hold on to you anymore. I was a child and I was afraid of the dark, but I don't have to be afraid of the dark now. I don't have to be afraid of dogs. I don't have to be afraid of bees. I don't have to be afraid of anything. I certainly don't have to be afraid of abandonment because I got me. I got me, the collarbone now. Trap on the collarbone. I am fearless and fear free. It's a wonderful thing to be. And then under the arm, I'm letting go of fear, holding on to none, no fear, none, ever. Freedom from fear is a great relief and relief. Okay? And then you tap gently on the top of the head. I am free of fear. And so it is. And then we're going to take three high breaths, and that's like you breathe into the nose and open your mouth and say, ah, three times. Ah. Ah. Oh, and then you get you some water and you drink you some water to help flush out whatever the toxins may be in your body now. Just let it go. All right? Now that's the fear release. Come back to the archive anytime and listen over again and retap. Just tap as many times as you need to to release as many fears as you need to. It doesn't cost you anything. This is free therapy. They say nothing is free. Well, there are some good things that's free, and this is one of them. Of course, uh, you got to do it, though. Now we want to deal with this issue of abandonment, okay? So we're going to start again at the karate chop point. You see, there are all kind of issues related to abandonment that come up as a child. And that's why sometimes you need help with therapy um, on abandonment issue because it needs to be age-specific to you. But we're going to just do a general tapping on abandonment. Even though I feel this abandonment issue is ruining my life, I still love and totally accept myself. We're on the karate chop point. I choose to release abandonment from all aspects of my being. When I was a child, I felt that I was abandoned by some of my parents, my loved ones. I don't know why I felt that. Maybe my mom and your daddy died. Now we're at the eyebrow point. Or they were separated. Or one of them was just not available for me on the side of the eye. But I grew up anyway, and I'm all right. I can be a whole, complete individual now. As I release this feeling of abandonment, because there was so much that was available to me that helped sustain me till now under the eye. And I know that God will never abandon me. The universe is there for me to comfort me, to nurture me, to provide for me, to help heal me. And I thank God for this under the nose. So I'm releasing all feelings abandonment. And what are the areas of my life that may occur? Maybe there was a divorce in my life, and I felt abandoned because the person who I cared for the most decided that they didn't want to be with me anymore, and I just felt at a loss, or somebody under the nose, under the lip, I mean, or somebody that I love may have passed on to the next realm, and I feel at a loss. I can't get out of grief. I just feel abandoned by them even though I know that they didn't have a choice in the matter. Collarbone. I I feel abandonment issues from generations of my ancestors who felt abandoned. Those energies are coming into my life, and they're affecting me and my ability to be successful in what I choose to do. And now under the arm, my brothers and sisters, they abandoned me. They don't want to have anything to do with me. I feel threatened as a result because I don't have their support. 
I don't choose to hold on to these issues of abandonment. I choose to release and let go right now. I choose to be free. I choose, I choose from my root chakra to be healed, to be healthy, to be open, to be able to process energy flowing into me from the universe in the most proper and functional manner. Okay? All right. Now, the top of the head, tap on there gently, releasing all abandonment issues that are affecting me right now. Right now, I'm letting it all go right now. I'm uprooting it from my root chakra so that my root chakra can function properly, me, with me, and by me. I don't have to be attached to anyone or anything because I have me. All right, three high breaths. (sighs) 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 So, people, tune in, and hopefully you're feeling some relief, relief from any issues that may have been affecting you. And if you feel it's a relief, you can press 1 and let me know. If any of you would like more information on how to get in touch with me to get further therapeutic relief for your specific abandonment issues or fear issues, you can call me at 708-677-3304. 708-677-3304. And that's on Tuesdays you can call me. This is the day when I accept calls from people. 708-677-04. I have a a caller here at 843-610. I'm opening your mic. Grand Risey, how are you today? Grand Risey, how are you this day? This is Maika, but I'm doing well. Thank you. Oh, I Who's apologize. Calling? Greetings, Maika. My name is Eddie. I'm in the Carolinas. Uh, uh-huh. I thank you for that, and uh, I definitely feel better and better. And may we all also feel better and better. Uh, I have somewhat of a different question. Good, Maybe I shouldn't good. ask, but uh, my question is: Go right there. my my pointer finger occasionally it feels kind of numb. Is that a mineral deficiency or something? Because you do know about natural health and things also, possibly. Well, you know, your pointer finger, are you talking about the finger next to your thumb? Is that what you're talking about? Yes, yes. Well, you know, you use it a lot, right? Mm -hmm. When you're using a mouse, when you're using, you're tapping on keyboards and stuff like that. So it's really used a lot. I have a sensitivity in my, my point of finger also, and I just take it that, that, that that's one of the reasons because it's overly used, and sometimes I'll switch to my middle finger just to give it a, a, some relief. But if it is a mineral deficiency or something like that, I'm really not aware of that at this particular time. So I can't, I can't address that issue specifically. Okay? Oh, you have okay. another question? It's interesting. Yeah, I just wanted to say, and it's interesting also, it's just like what you're saying. I was told a long time ago, one is fire and one is water. So, and just like Mm -hmm. with the tapping for liberation, um, these are basically the two fingers that we use, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting that, you know, this finger has been numb. So maybe it might be the reason that it's been kind of numb is because I need to use it and to tap. <laughs> so I'm going to find out. I'm going to go to our time <laughs> and right. listen to this over again and apply it. Thank you. All right, good. Thank you. Have a great day. You both. 312 602. Your mic is open. I think. Let's see, I'm opening it. My sister. Hey, how you doing? I'm wonderful now that I have experienced the tapping session this morning. I was laying here in the bed. I'm sorry for not introducing myself. Zelda Speaks, host of Monday Morning (laughs) Mindfulness. Thank you so very, very much for this experience. I refuse to get out of bed because I know once I get out of bed, you know, things get in motion. And Mm -hmm. I have a tendency to hear.
here and not here. So I I did get up at the last commercial break, and I came and sat in the chair so that I could experience this EFT that I told all my audience about yesterday that I would be experiencing. I'm talking about my issues of abandonment, which started Mm -hmm. when um, my mom passed when I was nine and I was sent south to live Mm -hmm. with an aunt, and I felt Mm -hmm. utterly a failure. No one in the hold world wanted me. Hold up, hold up, me. hold up, Zelda. Mm-hmm. Let's, mm-hmm. let's tap on that specifically <clears throat> right now, okay? We got a few okay. minutes. Okay. Let's tap on that specifically, okay? Okay. okay. So I'm taking okay. you through a session. Others can join also because this will help mm-hmm. Zelda and it will help you too. Okay, so on the karate mm-hmm. chop point, say, even mm-hmm. though at nine years old I felt abandoned, I just Even felt though at alone. nine years old I felt abandoned. I felt at a loss. I just didn't know my world was turned upside down. I no longer had my mother. I just didn't know my world was turned upside down because I no longer had my mother. And I went to live with strangers. And I went to live with strangers. Family, (laughs) but strangers. Yes, and I was just devastated. (laughs) And I was devastated. I was devastated. Yes, and I had just I've been carrying this all this time. <laughs> I've been carrying this all this time. Oh, I felt so hurt. Where oh, was my mother so at? Hurt. I needed my mother. Where was my mother? I needed my mother. <laughs> okay, dear. Now tap at the eyebrow point. Release. I need to release and let this go because this was so long ago. But it's been with I me need to all release. the time. And let go because it's been so long. It was so long ago. It's been with it was me long ago. all this time. I'm not a child anymore. I'm not a child anymore. And I want to comfort that child also now. And I want to comfort that child now, right now. On the side of the eye, you are all right. You are right. all right. You survived. You survived. You survived. It made I you survived. stronger. It made yes, me strong. It, yes, it made me loving and more caring. It made me loving and more caring. Understanding of others. It made me more, more understanding of others. Okay, under the eye. So now I'm releasing this. This so now I'm releasing to this. a zero. I'm totally letting it go now. It I happened. I am totally letting go. It happened. I acknowledge that it happened. I acknowledge that it happened. And I forgive my, under the nose, I forgive myself for allowing it to happen. I forgive myself for allowing it to happen. And under the lip, I forgive all others associated with it, including my mother. And I forgive all others associated with it, including my mother. Yes. Nobody, collarbone, nobody knew what I was going through. Nobody knew what I was going through. But me. But me. There was no comfort. There was no comfort. There was no nurturing. There was no nurturing. No nurturing. No nurturing. I just had to survive. I just had to survive. And my root chakra suffered. And my root chakra suffered. So under the arm now. So I'm releasing and letting go of all of that energy. All those energies. I'm just letting them go right now. And letting go all of that energy right here, right now. Ten to a zero. Ten to a zero. Ten to a zero. I choose to feel better. I choose to feel better. An eyebrow point again. I do feel better. I do feel better. I'm giving myself a new lease on life. I've given myself a new lease on life. I'm a good person. On the side of the eye, I'm a good person. I am a good person. Yes, you are. And under the eye, and I deserve to feel good about myself. And I deserve to feel good about myself and my life. I am grateful that I can right now. This is under the nose. I am grateful that I can right now. 
on the top of the head, and so it is. And so it is. Now take three hot breaths. moment, dear, and tell me how you feel. If it's on a scale of 10, uh, 10 to 0, where are you at now? On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm 10 sorry. To zero, 10, being the highest, 10 to 0. 10 being the highest 10. emotion of fear or abandonment. 0 being nothing. Zero. What do you feel? 0. I feel nothing. You I feel feeling 0? I feel think no about, issues of about, anything. No, no, no. Think about that time going to the south oh. and tell me, come mm. on now, you got to pull up something, don't you? Mm. Ain't mm. nothing oh. there. Mm. Nothing. I, I just let it. it all out. Oh, that's mm. awesome. Mm. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Thank you for I... sharing and being mm. vulnerable today. <laughs> because I did it before. Just by listening, and I thought I had cleared mm-hmm. it, but then the second oh, I time I did you, it, I felt that you hadn't. I felt that you hadn't. Yeah. That's why I said, "Let's do it now." You know, yeah. it, that was that's a deep emotional trauma. So uh, yeah. it, that little session I had before wasn't going to do it. But thank no. you so much for being vulnerable and mm. sharing, dear. We're going off mm. the air. Thank you all for sharing <laughs> and participating. I love all of you all. Tune in next Tuesday for more. Let's talk about it with Maika. Thank you, Maika. Welcome. We've come to the end of our show today, but you can hear every show in the archives at www.blogtalkradio.com forward slash the dash female dash solution. You can also hear today's show on the Female Solution Facebook page. Go to www.facebook.com slash thefemalesolution. Leave your comments about today's show. You can always reach me on my website at www.naimalatif.com. That's www.naimahlatif.com. Watch our TV shows. Listen to our radio shows. Order our books. And be sure to get your copy of the book, the female solution on behalf of our team of radio hosts i'd like to thank all of you who participated in today's discussion and to our global family listening from all around the world we say thank you to our family in china sheshe india zanyaba japan arigato korea kamsanida Russia, Spasiba. Germany, Danke. Poland, John Cunha. France, Merci. Spain, Gracias. Italy, Grazie. Egypt, Shukran. Ghana, Medasi. Nigeria, Eshe. South Africa, Ngiabonga. Senegal, Jaret. Kenya, Asante, Israel, Toda, Pakistan, Shukriya, Afghanistan, Tashakur, Saudi Arabia, Shukran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Thank you, and may peace be upon you and the mercy of God and God's blessing.